The woman is attracted to a young man. She wants to make him fall in love with her. And she looks at the man before she gets on the boat. Her friend understands the woman's thoughts. The man is a member of the cruise ship's crew. The rich man had chartered the cruise ship for his wife's birthday. But the cabin burst into flames while sailing. The fire grew bigger and bigger. They had to abandon the ship and flee. The storm overturned the lifeboat. Everyone falls into the sea. When the woman wakes up, she found herself on a deserted island. But there's still the handsome crewman on the island. It's because of the man that the woman doesn't have to starve. The man has a lot of experience in surviving in the wild. With his pocket knife and diving goggles, he's always got a good catch. And there are enough coconut trees on the island. This solves their water problem. They have also built a house out of branches. The house was simple but sheltered from the wind and rain. The two of them got used to life on the deserted island. Every day the man fishes in the sea. The woman was responsible for showing off her body. The two of them are happy and have no restrictions. One day, the man went out to sea in search of food. He caught a lobster and was about to return. There was a man lying on the reef. The man realized it was the rich man. They took the badly injured man back to the reef. The woman was thrilled to see her husband. She hugged him tightly back at the hut. The man handed the rich man a bowl of water. The man looked at the happy couple. He felt very depressed because he had fallen in love with the woman. The rich man soon regained his strength. As the man and the rich man's wife frolicked in the water, the rich man was instantly upset. He thought the two had developed a bond on the desert island. Then he lit a campfire with a lighter. The two men returned to find the fire burning in front of Rich. They were delighted because they could now eat cooked food. But the rich man taunts the man for not being able to drill wood for fire. The man does not want to argue with the rich man and leaves. Two men and a woman are stranded on a deserted island. The rich man is not grateful to the man for saving him. He starts to take it out on the man. When the man left, the rich man split the house into two rooms. He takes the larger one. The man has only a small, dilapidated boat. The rich man says he wants to have separate space from his wife. The man doesn't want to fight, so he agrees. But the man will no longer share food with both of them. Without the food provided by the man, the couple will have to find it themselves. But they had no experience of surviving in the wild, so they can't tell which coconuts are edible. The rich man goes fishing in the sea and finds it difficult to catch fish. He fishes for half a day but has no luck. They had to go into the woods to catch crabs. The woman looks at the crab but says she won't eat it. The rich man says he'll eat it himself. But as a result, the man eats meat at every meal. The woman can't stop swallowing. The woman is trying to fill her stomach. The woman appears in front of the man after her husband has left. The method works. The man invites the woman to join him for dinner. The woman is very happy. She gives the man a kiss when she's full. The next day, the rich couple were collecting sea urchins. Black smoke came out from the man's side. The rich man suspected the man of stealing his lighter. He ran over and put out the fire. The man grabbed a wooden stick and tried to hit the rich man. The two fight instantly. The woman stops the fight just in time. In the end, the rich man took a fish from the man. The rich man did not find any food for several days. He began to feel a sense of crisis, so he built a harpoon from the campfire. Then, while the man was asleep, the rich man takes the man's diving goggles. Thanks to the tools and a few days of experience, the rich man soon catches a big fish. But when he returned the diving goggles, instead of getting angry, the man smiled. The rich man thought something was unusual, but he didn't care. He just wanted to share his trophy with his wife. But as he excitedly recounted his fishing experience, the woman's eyes dodged a little. The rich man sensed that something was wrong. As he pressed him, the wife finally told him the truth. The man discovered that the rich man had stolen his scuba goggles. Then the man tried to kill the rich man with a harpoon. The woman tried desperately to stop the man in the struggle. Their bodies rub against each other. The rich man is completely devastated. Two men and a woman are stranded on a deserted island. When the rich man learns that his wife has betrayed him, he drags the woman to the man. He then left alone, and the woman cannot find her husband. The wife has to live with the man to survive. The rich man hides so that his wife won't find him. He watched the two men preparing to take revenge. He also made a pair of green glasses to remind himself. The rich man made his own diving goggles. When he went fishing, he found a broken boat. He turned the boat over to check it out, but the hole was impossible to fix. Regal still tried to pull the boat up. The pressure of the sea made it difficult for him to walk. When he couldn't hold on, he surfaced to change his breath. Then he dives back in and pulls the boat up. He repeats the same action over and over again until he pulled the boat ashore. The wife and the man are surprised when they see it. They run over to help, but the rich man stopped them. The wife accused her husband of not knowing how to share, but the rich man said he shared his wife with someone else. When the woman heard this, she was furious and left the rest of the day. The rich man spent every day mending the boat. The boat is about to be repaired. After the man went fishing in the sea, the woman came to the rich man. She admits her mistake and wants him to take her away. But the rich man refused the woman. He taunted the woman. The woman is devastated. She asks the man to steal the boat and take her away, leaving her selfish husband alone on a deserted island. The next day, the rich man had the boat repaired. He even put on the sails. The rich man was very happy. He decided to catch a big 
with lobster to celebrate. After the rich man went fishing, the man woke up the woman. The two of them ran to the boat to carry supplies. The rich man surfaced just in time to change his breath. He spotted the two stealing the boat. Then he rushed ashore with his harpoon. The two men panicked and pushed the boat overboard. Only the rich man was left on the shore, ranting madly, but the rich man smiled when he saw the boat leave, so this was the rich man's plan. The two men stole the boat as part of the plan. When the plan worked, the rich man in his chair, sipping coconut milk. When the boat soon began to leak, the woman grabbed something to plug the hole, but it didn't work. The boat began to sink as the water accumulated. The two men had to abandon the boat and swim to shore, and the rich man was eating fish on the grill at his leisure. The man's hut was burnt down. The rich man slept for a while until they came ashore. He picked up his harpoon and went to the man. As the man had no strength and no weapon. He had to run straight away. Rich throws the harpoon and hits the man in the back. He then quickly followed up with another blow. The man died instantly. From then on, the wife would never betray the rich man again. A fishing boat suddenly appeared on the island. The fisherman woke up the woman. The woman was finally safe, but as she prepared to leave, she took the lighter with her. On board the fishing boat, after the fisherman and their family prepare food for the woman, they went into the cabin. At that moment, the rich man just came to the surface. He saw the fishing boat pass by, and he saw his wife in the boat. He smiled with joy. The rich man thought his wife would take him out, but the woman saw her husband just take out his lighter. Then she looked further and further away from the deserted island.